What drama is it going to be? That is a good question. Let's check it out. VTuber drama by Size Cry. Let's go. There are no shortage of drama, it seems, when it comes to the VTuber community. It seems like everywhere VTubers are, there's drama to be found. And many new VTubers are ill-prepared and have no clue how to navigate such a minefield. My name is Psychrotic, I'm a transform creator, and I've been a VTuber Slightly. for over three years. And in this video, I would like to teach you on what I have learned from my technical Damn. series as a content creator. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I'm here for, for, for drama, not for booty, buddy. I was not <laughs> expecting that! <laughs> <laughs> I was a Yelan out of the background browser count too. Like right behind them, Yelan right now. Perfect. <laughs> On the internet. To avoid drama, we gotta figure out what drama truly is. Oh, let's talk about it. What is drama? Whenever you say the right opinion. The internet, like so many things, has messed up the <laughs> meaning of it, but we can break it down into different tiers like this. Okay. Lukewarm takes. Lukewarm? You state something that most people will agree with, but okay. maybe not everyone. You're shooting for the 85%. Hot takes. Uh, okay. Say you didn't like the new Spider-Man movie or uh, 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 any popular media, but everybody or else loved on pizza. it. And you give you a reason for why. In <laughs> short, you get a little bit quirky at night. Drama. Mm. Yeah, hot takes. I think if you talk about something you don't like that's like very new, I feel like, well, for me personally, it's like, okay, well, you didn't like it. Oh, well, go like, uh, who cares? You talk shit about mm -hmm. somebody else, but it's not because you want this person dead or anything. You might simply not like them or what they do. That crazy Crime. drama. Killing somebody or trying to destroy their career. Like, you'll what, be hearing what, a story what? about a YouTuber what? going to another that, YouTuber's that, house with a gun. Far? And people yeah, wait, wait, that's a reach. Oh my god, drama. It's important. I think that, I, does that count? Does that count as drama? That in uh, that, the crime one, I think that counts as drama or a uh, hot take. Important to distinguish yeah, if, if, if I just roll up to you for guns, it's drama, you know? Don't worry. <laughs> drama and legit crimes. Calling Let's criminal actions drama diminishes yeah, that's, the yeah, impact that's, yeah, that's, of real that's crazy. criminal actions. Yeah, that's crazy. In this video, we're going to focus on how to handle fear mongering, bullies, trolls, okay. okay. etc. Not here. trivializing serious crimes. Okay. How do we actually deal with What's drama? What's important to always know is that every Ignore community it. has. <laughs> that is true. If you ignore the shit for two months. Hey, man, what's going on with this person? I totally forgot about whatever they got in trouble for. Shitty people. The reason why I the VTuber community drama. gets a lot of flack yeah. is because a lot of VTubers have actually not been online for a very long time. And VTubers are not afraid to set boundaries. This leads to people who have been online for a very long time or are used to people just letting their boundaries be stepped upon get angry at VTubers because they dare to enforce their boundaries. What's important to remember that, that reminds that... me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday in my Twitch chat, uh, uh, I, I had like a person coming by, and they were they, they were like upset because like they asked another person in another person's stream when they would be going live, okay. and they didn't know this was like considered bad courtesy online. Mm. They they just weren't aware, mm. but they were like the other person was like, "Hey, uh, you're making me uncomfortable," and like the guy didn't understand why. Mm. It, it's it's really that simple, like. This is this is the shit that can cause drama already. It's like the slightest thing. But that sounds like like a lack of social awareness. Yeah, but that's where most drama starts. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I've never been in it, I, so I don't know. But I mean, I I would guess so. <laughs> when these people well, do most drama comes from a lack of respect for other people's like boundaries. Mm -hmm. Is this is this? Uh, I don't think this is only a VTuber thing where because they said VTubers. Put up their boundaries and their and like other people online are used to stepping over boundaries i think that's like like anybody like who wants anybody to come in their chat whether they're a vtour or not and like start breaking rules or saying stupid shit that they don't enjoy um, the, the thing with like vt wasn't bound compared to like regular like face cam streamers mm -hmm. uh, a lot of it comes down to the fact that the face cam makes everything feel a lot more private and a, a, a lot less private, uh -huh. a lot more public. Uh -huh. So while I'm sitting here with like my VTube avatar, you can't see me. Uh -huh. There is no person. There's like no personal connection between you and me. That's just a personal connection between me and, and you, you and my avatar. Uh -huh. So oh, it's okay. a lot harder to like get dramatically invested into it uh -huh. because I am less a person and more so an image on the internet. Makes sense. Oh, well, yeah, I guess when you put it that way. Yeah, it makes sense. Because they dare to enforce their boundaries. What's important to remember is that when these people do get angry, it's always best to keep establishing your boundaries 
enforce them as best as you can. Always and enforce use them as a quick haha funny moment on Twitter and then just move on, babes. On now, I know this whole video is all about avoiding and handling drama, uh. but you do need to keep a little tab on things. Okay. What's important in keeping tabs on things is that to mean? find a balance that works for you. As content creators, people just expect us to live online 24 seven, but True. please take it from somebody who has been doing I, this for I over 10 plus years. Staying the... online 24 seven Bruh, I got the message from this collab while I was on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, from like groceries and I'm suddenly my phone searching. I'm like, well. Hey, well, hey, props to you for accepting it. It makes you more depressed, more anxious, and even more important, totally out the blue, less creative. Staying away yeah. from Twitter, away from the drama, and away from all the bullshit will actually probably spark more creativity and help you more than you could ever imagine. Just because you are trying to balance your life and your online stuff, remember, you can't be an NPC either. True. It is important to still say oh. your opinion on the newest movie or the latest games or well, what. Well, oh, I mean, I don't think it's that important. I, not everybody's opinion is, is that big, but like, I, I mean, if you want to express your opinion, sure. But you don't have to express your opinion on every I, fucking thing or I, anything. I got I got two takes on this. Okay, let's the, uh, the, the the first take is like really relevant to what's going on right now, like like they said. Um, and that take is while like it's our people want to discuss. Mm. It's why a lot of like streamers hop onto like the newest gaming trend uh -huh. whenever something new comes out because it's it's important to stay relevant in that way. If yeah. you miss out on a new trend, you're immediately going down like people's perception because they. They want someone who talks about this new thing that they're interested in. Mm -hmm. So if, like, for, for example, like, one game came out recently, like, Fi uh, Final Fantasy 16. Okay. A huge Final Fantasy 16 uh, Final Fantasy fan myself. And if my audience was, like, mostly Final Fantasy watchers, they would have left me to play it. Mm -hmm. And if I didn't, they would have hopped over to someone who does. Yeah. It's, you, you gotta stay on top of, like, the relevant new stuff, and that's, like, a big issue for many. Mm -hmm. And what's the other My take? other take is, uh, they mentioned the NPC earlier, and this is, like, unrelated to the shit. These NPC fucking streams on TikTok are the fucking worst shit to ever happen to humanity. I love it. I, I unironically love it. It's like, go get the what? bag. I go get the bag. Like, people are donating, and you're just like, uh, oh. gang, 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 gang. Thanks for the oh, cherries. I, I, I... I, I, I respect, I, like, I respect, like, the, the people who do it because, oh my god, it's free money for them. Yeah, But yeah. at the same time, like, it's entertainment. what the actual fuck, people call reacting low-effort content, but sitting there and going, <laughs> oh my god, cherries! It's, uh, it's like... Num, 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 num. Like, it's, the fuck? <laughs> it's the modern court jester, if you think about it. It's the modern court jester. They make a fool of themselves and they get paid. Uh, it's the modern jester. Bro, if you want to see a modern oh. court jester, just go online and watch someone play on the app. Oh, okay. Cool, girl. I thought you was going to say check out SQC. Manga or whatever you're interested <laughs> in. Remember, people went to online personalities to avoid the celebrity corporate talk. They are following you because you are a real human being with different opinions and different thoughts than other people. And because of that, people can relate to you. But if that relatability stops, people aren't going to want to follow you or even interact with you. But at some point, you will uh, be criticized. Yeah. You will get shit thrown at you, and you will meet an asshole on Twitter. Oh, that's normal. Well, the yeah. first and the most important button. I mean, Twitter is full of assholes. Step yeah. is to keep a little well, Sorry, X. Uh, yeah, yeah, X. Yeah, 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 X. They are trying to make you so mad that you will mess up so bad that you may even destroy your career. But instead Wait, of doing what? that, we are going to calm down and we're going to use that person to again enforce, establish, and reinforce boundaries. our boundaries. Smart. You're not going to just sit That's there smart. and just take a beating. You will use these opportunities to show people, here are my boundaries, and this is what I do not tolerate in my space. And then you but block them. You do got to be careful doing this. Yes, dishing it out to people is fun and everything, but you always have to keep your community in mind. Just because you're dishing it out to people who may deserve it doesn't mean that that negativity may make people want to unfollow you. Once in the blue moon is fine, but not every single day, babe. 
it depends. Then, it depends on your community because if your community is founded upon you fucking roasting people, being a bitch, yeah, or being a <laughs> bitch, like that's what they want. So, like, this advice is for people that are trying to keep a more, I guess, um, super like what say so or chill audience. I would, I would assume, like, don't really get into drama. Just like focus on whatever the one, two, three topics are. And that's about it. That's just my guess. Well, one one of my like favorite moments on stream ever was like I was playing through Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, good, good fucking game, game. Yeah. and I I was like just playing through it and I, I randomly remi- remembered myself like a story, so mm. I just paused the game for a second and told my chat a story, uh. and someone just came into chat and said like, "Play the fucking game already!" <laughs> I and saw I was that coming. There, like, <laughs> I, I was sitting there like, uh, by the way, I was literally like seconds away from just continuing. Uh, so I was like continuing. They like, wait, I see this message. I stopped again. I was like, okay, um, but 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 buddy 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 buddy. What'd you do? What'd you do? I I I am here to have a good time. If you want to just watch someone play through the game, there's walkthroughs on there. For real. Buddy. Bro, see, <laughs> this is the difference between me and a lot of the guests that come on this show. A lot of y'all are so nice because I would have been like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Hit him with the band, laughed at his bitch ass and then played the game. Man, y'all so nice, man. Chat does reflect they, streamer, but don't 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 do I, what I don't don't don't. I don't need to take them out. The, the issue is simply they take themselves out already. If I just call them out, they would just got to be too ashamed and leave or like they leave a follow and leave out of shame. Man, fuck him. Call him a bitch. <laughs> and remember, there are brands and sponsorships. True, there are brands and sponsorships. So yeah, don't do what I said if you're expecting to get like a, a sponsorship from something important. But anybody can raid get a raid. Shadow Legend. As I was about to say, anybody can get a raid Shadow Legend sponsored. So you can cuss as much as you want. You're going to get that sponsorship, uh... baby. Sponsorship opportunities <laughs> that you can miss out on because you are dishing it out so much. This, I mean, uh, yes and no. I think it, de- it depends on how good of you are as a marketer for yourself. I think the brands won't reach out to you if you're crazy. But if you reach out to them, I think you could definitely spin it because Asmongold has had his own sponsorships. He's had his own shows on not television, but like the, the equivalent of television for the Internet space, like a big convention. And I am Dante has had sponsors with Doritos. And this is a guy that goes out of his way to call people bitches in his stream that he doesn't like. So if he can get a Dorito sponsorship, anybody can, depending on how marketable you are to the company. Many brands want yeah, to sponsor marketability people. and creator size. Mm. Yeah, size like, too. So, like, I, I, feel, I feel like like someone like Project Melody, who's like we're very well known for... Uh, Every, not, not being everything. safe so at all. Yeah, yeah, everything. <laughs> Known for everything. <laughs> like, Melody's like gonna be as easy to market with, mm. but she's gonna be very marketable for other things, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, yeah, she's not marketable for Doritos, but she she's marketable for Bad Dragon, you feel me? People yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Money's money, baby. <laughs> and they see you just dishing it out every day. The reason why I keep bringing up establishing your boundaries and your rules isn't just because tee hee ha ha just establish your boundaries and everything will be fine. That's part of it, but it's also because you want to achieve something with this. Okay, what's your you goal? You want to attract people who not only support you and whatever you do as your content, That's but hard. also agree or may even have the same boundaries and rules as you do. That's, that's extremely hard. Build a pretty mature <laughs> audience that you can that relate takes to. Time. They can actually help you establish your boundaries mm, and reinforce true. your rules as well. And that's kind of the perfect world you want to be in as a content creator. Remember, All right. Well, I will say this to build that audience is going to take a very, very, very long time because a lot of people will come to you to hop on whatever trend you're on and then they'll hop right off whenever that trend's either not viable or you're not interesting to them for that trend. So to for this to happen, it's going to take years like it, it, it takes years to build that type of foundation because it comes from having 100 people come watch you and five people stay. And that just accumulates over time to where you build that connection. Taylor, do you have anything to add to that? or I'll honestly, pretty much removed. My boundaries personally are do not be an asshole. Mm. 
<laughs> like well, I, I, whenever like I remember once like going into a Twitch chat mm. and just seeing the rules page, and based on that rules page alone, you could like probably take like any five minutes of my stream, and I would be get banned from the Switch stream. A hundred percent. Like ah yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I've seen some people like I go into a stream and I just want to be like, hey, how's it going? Like I read like there's like 12 or 20 rules and I'm just like, I probably yeah. shouldn't be here. <laughs> like I'm not a I'm not a terrible person by any means, but just like it seems it's like a bit of sensitivity. Like I feel I'm like I'm gonna say it straight up. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've once in my life read anyone's chat rules on Twitch. Who does, bro? Like, uh, I mean, <laughs> you get every time you get a new app or a fucking uh, or something, it's like, oh, here's the terms of service. What do you do? You skip through that shit. Like, reading yeah. rules is like reading terms of service. Nobody reads that shit. We just scroll to the bottom and say agree. And the same like. as <laughs> expressing opinions or having disagreements. Try to focus on the positive stuff and supporting communities by There's being the best you, yeah, you can be. Yeah. Okay. You know what? This video wasn't bad, but I think this advice is extremely skewed to a particular audience or person. It's not a bad video, but it's definitely not for, it's it's not really a general video. I honestly think more so the opposite. It's I think like, it's like too generalized almost. Okay. Where it's it, where where the video is literally just saying, like this is this is six video videos of the guys of the girl saying, uh, yo, uh, establish your boundaries, keep up your boundaries, and if mm. you keep up your boundaries, your community will have your boundaries, and that that's pretty much the entire video. Yeah, that is in a nutshell. That, I, that is that is it. It's I do not even see how this relates to VTuber drama, even. True, true. Um, well, like, the top, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, maybe it's just, like, the, the video title, like, VTuber drama, but it's the video probably could be retitled, like, you know, Set Your Boundaries, or How to Set Your Boundaries as a VTuber, or something like that. But, yeah, I mean, you gotta get the clicks. Now, how drama, to they got me how, to click. How, how to avoid personal drama as a VTuber, maybe, but, like, that's VTuber drama is just VTuber, yeah, but VTuber drama is just too generalizing. It's, yeah, the title. It's, it's 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 broad. It's broad. It could go anywhere with that title, but I think the video is it's way too fun. broad. Link in the description. That was an the, all right video. Yeah, hit the video. The editing was good. Yeah, the the, the editing was good. I enjoyed it. Um, let's see. Let's. Does this person got any more? Any more videos like this, or was this a one off? And it was like, okay, let's keep it going. <laughs> VTuber drama. Okay, this is okay. This is the first of it. Two days ago, and it's a thousand views. All right. Well, I'm gonna hit a subscribe just to see what happens next. All right. See you guys on the next video. Bye bye. Bow, 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 bow.